ਵਿਰੋਧੀ ਤੇ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਐਰਨ ਓਟੂਲ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੀ ਕੌਕਸ ਹਫਤਾਵਾਰੀ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਪੱਤਰਕਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੰਬੋਧਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਘਰੇਲੂ ਟੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਉਤਪਾਦਨ ਦੀ ਘਾਟ ਕਾਰਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਬਾਕੀ ਮੁਲਕਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਰਹੇਗਾ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਕੰਜ਼ਰਵੇਟਿਵ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਸੰਸਦ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਟੀਮ ਉਪਲ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਕਰੋਨਾ ਦੀ ਸਥਿਤੀ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਰੱਖੇ lack of focus on jobs whether it's energy jobs in the west softwood lumber jobs in british columbia or auto steel and aluminum we need to get the country working and that's you can see my speeches on that over the last year nothing has changed can i ask also about vaccines and the the, the lack of capacity we have here in canada there's no plan for this much like there was no plan for rapid tests no plan for anything else we need a plan there's no plan for freezing there's no plan for logistics we're going to be getting vaccines probably after a third of the planet yet a few months ago he said we'd be first so it's like everything this government waits until things are on fire until they act and i think canadians have had enough so you'll see us continuing to hold them to account when we started pushing for a plan for rapid tests it finally got some progress we're going to be doing that for vaccines as well. How do we like how do we accommodate those in fact we don't have the domestic capacity to build them to make them? Uh we do have uh, a great pharmaceutical uh, pharmaceutical industry in Canada in Quebec in Ontario. We have the capacity to accelerate that. Uh they're likely going to announce something in the coming weeks because they didn't do this back in March. Uh tests, tracing, all the things the prime minister talked about in March, we don't have any of it on a national level. It'll be the same with vaccines. I think uh the premier is uh, trying to strike a balance between uh you know the the health concerns that uh, are are very real and I'll try to uh, at least have some of the economy keep on going. So I think it's a uh, it's important especially heading into the holiday season that uh, Canadians uh follow the the local health guidelines. I think we're in a point where we're uh, as all Canadians we're going to have to uh kind of strike a balance ourselves and uh we, you know we also have our own personal responsibility as well a responsibility to uh the rest of our families but also uh to our fellow Canadians so to to follow those uh health guidelines so that's that's important thank okay? you thank you what do you make of the risk like this argument in Alberta about balancing people's freedom versus the need to shut down to spread the flow of coronavirus uh well i think a, a version of that argument occurs everywhere doesn't it i mean it's you know it's just happening there right now Are you looking for something specific? When personal responsibility sort of seems to fail, that people aren't abiding by the guidelines, they're having parties full of 50 people, should the government step in or is I, that I, I'm not sure I can answer that question intelligently because you'd have to look at a whole bunch of factors that I'm not really an expert on. But I mean on the issue of of mask wearing, I've always, I've been very strongly in favor of uh, uh I don't know if you know this, but I was the first MP in the House of Commons to wear a mask in in the house just, you know, the number this was back when the WH 